Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a product review. We're going to be putting a Halo View backup camera on our 2018 Mallard. This video is going to be primarily an unboxing, installation, and first impressions video. Once we've had a chance to use the system on a couple of trips, we'll do a more thorough review for you. Okay, let's open this up and see what's in the box. All right, so there is the user manual, um, a sheet of specs, and here's the unit. So here's our display. And looks like some mounting brackets and antennas. Here's all the hookup cables. That looks like it'd be for the uh, display cigarette lighter. And one thing that I'm looking for specifically is this. I believe this is the adapter. Um, we're going to be putting this on our 2018 Mallard, which has, it's pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. And I believe this is the adapter that will allow us to plug this uh, camera directly into the Mallard. So hoping that works. Um, what else do we got? Mounting screws more hardware and this would be the um, one of the mount options for the camera or for the monitor and this here this is actually something I bought off of Amazon this company does sell a similar this is a like a bean bag dash mount their company sells a similar model but I just got this off Amazon so this should it's got two-faced tape on it um, go on there and then you could mount or just throw this on your dash it also has the ability, um, here's the uh, sun shield for the monitor, but there is a, a mount here that you could hardwire or um, install directly on your dash if you wanted to do like a hard mount. And then this looks like this would be the actual camera itself. And I'm hoping if all goes right, this will mount uh, right on the back of our Mallard where the Furion mount is. You know, I am average at best when it comes to handyman skills, so if I can get this installed and figure it out, you should be able to as well. Alright, let's see if we can get this figured out. So this is the back of our mallard, and this is what it comes like from the factory. It's pre-wired and has this mount that's made for a Furion camera. So we're going to go ahead and take that cover off and go from there. The instructions that came with the Halo View system were not very clear on the installation details. Pretty much says to mount the camera at the back of the RV and gives you a couple of pictures of what that might look like. So we take the cover off and this is what it looks like. I'm really hoping that this adapter will plug right into the existing wire. And there are four holes here which do appear to match the pattern of the Halo mount. All right, so here we go. Uh, the adapter does plug right into the factory wire, so that's a good sign. And these mounting holes do appear to match up perfect with the halo mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this with the provided screws, and then I'm gonna use the provided plug to seal up this opening here. Okay, so what I ended up doing, and let me know in the comments if you think this is wrong or you would have done it different, but I ended up reusing this um, rubber backing piece and I sprayed a strong industrial strength adhesive on it and then put it back into place. I uh, actually screwed it in and I'm gonna let it dry, get it secured, and then I will take the screws back out. And then I will mount the camera right over that piece like that. All right, here's what it looks like installed. Another thing I'm gonna do, I don't see why I can't put another strip of uh, caulking on the top of that, just extra protection. Otherwise, I'll uh, clean up the extra glue on the bottom there, put the antenna on, and yeah, we'll plug in the monitor and see if it works. All right, so plugging it in, this is interesting. It actually has a power button on the cigarette adapter there. So you press that on, and looks like it's powering up. Instant signal. That that's really good I wasn't expecting to have um, this work right out of the box like this this was actually a really easy installation uh, it worked the first time 
yeah, this this was this was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. If I can do this, anybody can do this. Um, okay, so this is interesting. It does have the backup lines in it, and the manual says you can adjust those, which we will do a little bit. Okay, so I've been doing an experiment adjusting the angle of the camera and the backup lines. These backup lines are um, adjusted as close as possible and the camera is angled down um, as far down as I can get it. I was kind of hoping I could get it to show the uh, spare tire in the back of the camper, but this is as close as I can get. Um, and for reference, from the back of our bumper to this concrete pad is four and a half feet. So I guess I'll just have to know in my head for future reference, um, anything in the red is going to be within four and a half feet of that bumper. All right, so we're on our first drive and we're about an hour in. First impression is pretty good. Um, number one, right now it's um, pretty sunny out and having this little sun visor around the unit is nice, it helps. I think with the Furion unit we have, we do you can get some glare when the sun hits it just right, but this is working pretty good. Uh, picture quality, I think is, for what this unit is, which is 720, um, very comparable to the Furion. You know, these aren't 1080 units. Um, the quality is good, just a tad grainy maybe. Um, and you know, like most of these backup cameras that operate, operate wirelessly, um, it is a little choppy, it's not bad, and it's definitely not any worse than the Furion, but you, you do, do notice it a little bit. So obviously the system works as a backup camera and as an observation camera or a rear view mirror. And I think it's nice having a backup camera, although we usually use a spotter when we're backing up and I rely mostly on you know my wife on her cell phone giving directions and the backup camera is kind of a secondary thing to look at. Although sometimes I do have to back up, the, back up the rig myself and that's when the backup camera comes in handy. But what I like even more about these systems is the observation function, which is having it be used as a rear view mirror. And when I'm doing that, I'll actually go back and I'll adjust the camera angle up higher. Um, and that's what I did here, which gives you a pretty good wide view of the road behind you. You can see we're on a four lane road and you know you get a good view of the shoulder both lanes and um, the camera shoots out pretty far behind you too so you have a really good idea of what's going on behind you um, and what i like about this camera versus the furion is you know while it doesn't look as nice mounted on the back as a furion because you know it's built in it has a nice little plastic shroud on it this kind of sticks out in its own little mount but being that it does it's really easy to adjust the angle which I'll probably do when we get to our destination as I'm backing up to give you a better view of what's behind you when you're backing up okay so we are wrapping up our first trip using this camera um, about five hours of drive time using this camera and my first impression is pretty good um, you know, it's a, just a slight leg in the picture view here, and I'll show you this, uh, I'll give you an example right now. So we're coming up to a stop sign. I'll tell you when we're completely stopped. So we are stopped now. You know, so you can kind of tell, maybe you can't, but there's just a slight delay in the camera view, but it's, you know, not even a second. Um, and that I think is comparable to the Furion camera. But otherwise, the picture quality has been great. As far as any incidents where it's frozen up or had a extended leg, there was only one time that I noticed where it froze up and it was half a second maybe. And with using this for five hours, I think that's pretty good. And again, pretty comparable with our Furion. Like I mentioned, you know, we just did a mega trip to Florida and back and the, even the Furion froze up a couple times, but it was only a handful in um, 3,700 miles of driving. So overall, first impressions are really good. So stay tuned for a follow-up video. In that one, we will dive into the different menu options that this camera has. And in addition, we rent out this Mallard camper and we're going to put this backup camera out there to each renter to use. Um, so it's going to get a lot of use this summer and we will talk about the long 
long-term reliability of this camera and basically how um, easy it's been to use for people who have no experience using a camera. So again, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.